Hey everyone, Justin Pate from the Rap Institute. Welcome to another round of the Never Stop Learning Online Rap Contest. What I love about this contest is you're essentially getting a free mini workshop. I'm gonna wrap something live, real time, and give commentary, so lots of good tips and tricks. And if you guess how long it takes me to wrap that object, you're gonna win the prize from this week's sponsor. So what I'm wrapping this week is a roof of a car. And the prize that is up for grabs right now is actually a co-sponsor prize. Uh, Magstraps has sponsored really good stuff, $250 worth of their tools. They got these straps that fit around, let's say, water bottles, heat guns. They even fit around squeegees, and they hold the material. So again, lots of very variety in terms of their products that help with wrapping solo. And that's what I'm going to do here. You also get a chance to win $250 worth of monkey strips. Monkey strips are made for standard squeegees, and you also have banana buffers and monkey tails. So this fits on any size squeegee. So again, $500 worth of prizes up for grabs if you guess how long it takes me to wrap this roof. So that being said, I want to hit the clock, but I can't hit the clock until I talk about prep. So I'll just talk about prep really quickly. So in this case, I put masking tape on the side to lower the surface energy because of the material, the body of the car picks up right here and I need to feed the material in. Masking tape helps a lot. This is a direct cut on the body. So you want to use knifeless tape. You never want to cut directly on there with your knife. Took off the antenna because this is a hatchback and actually comes off quite easy. And by taking off the antenna, now the roof is completely flat, which makes it much easier. So you always want to balance taking hardware off versus how long it takes to work around it. In this case, it was definitely worth it. Clean the roof, ready to rock and roll. Got my heat gun, got my squeegee, got my spray bottle to lower the surface energy on my squeegee when I need to. And I think that said, let's get to it. So now you're going to learn it and let's get to it. So now got the roll of material here. And what I want to do is I want to roll it out. So I take it now and I always like to roll the material out nice and relaxed. So I put my arm in and I roll it here right to the front. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push it to the side. And the reason why is this particular material is 60 inches wide and the width of the roof is not nearly that wide. So I put the magnets there and I can come over to this side now and I'm going to cut the excess film away. And I'm using a special uh, blade right now. This is what's called a snitty. And I can fit it inside here. And the reason why I'm using this is I could use my knife, but there's a chance I cut the car. Definitely don't want to cut the car. So by using this, super safe. So I always like to take this excess film and I like to save it for later. I can use it for door handles and mirrors. So that being said, the material's ready to rock and roll. I have enough material at the front and the back. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to set the magnet here. I'm going to set the magnet here and I'm going to pull the backing paper off. But how I'm going to do it is actually quite interesting. I'm actually going to pull it look, just a little bit to here and I'm going to fold the backing paper under, right to there. And the reason why I'm doing that is I don't want to flip the panel over and expose the adhesive to the workspace. I want to keep it as flush to the car as possible. So I peel a little bit right to here, fold it under, get it going right to there. And the reason why the whole panel didn't shift is I had the magnets on the side. So it's nice to have magnets because magnets act as this extra set of hands that you don't have to actually have a person to help you out with. So here I'm going to lock it into here. And I'm going to take the backing paper, pull it low and flat, and all the way to the front. And immediately what I do with this is put it right under the car. And the reason why I put it under the car is it's safe and lays flat. So now when you wrap a roof, for me, especially when you use good material, is you want to be able to flex it and it doesn't stick right away. So invest in good material, because if you invest in good material and you have good tools like mag straps, you can work by yourself, create that speed and make for happy clients. And notice what I'm doing is I'm pulling to the corners. I pull to the corners, it creates what I call glass, no wrinkles. Very cool, it's like making a bed. So now that I have glass, and you always wanna make sure you have 100% glass, I pull the material, looks really good. I'm now gonna take my squeegee, and I'm gonna squeegee right in the middle, basically split it right in half. And it doesn't look like I'm squeegeeing very hard, but I am. So this is what's called pressure activated film. So by having a very thin buffer, and that's what monkey strips are known for, is being super thin, is I can put a lot of pressure on because the power of my squeegee stroke is going through the squeegee and through the buffer onto the surface. If you have a thick buffer, a lot of times it's too thick, and then energy doesn't quite go into the material. So here I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm 
overlapping my squeegee strokes. And notice that I'm not working too fast. I'm just working at a nice steady pace. So I'm getting the material close to the edge and I'm stopping while it's relaxed. And I'll come back and explain that in a second. So now I come back over here and I squeegee. So now that I've kind of talked about the process in terms of creating glass and squeegeeing, let's talk about money. So what we try to do on the Wrap Institute a lot is not only show you how to wrap and talk about tools and the benefits and the logic and stuff like that, but we also try to talk about, you know, how you can make money. So in this case right now, the prep phase in terms of taking the antenna off and cleaning, you know, that took about 10 minutes to get the knifeless tape on, the masking tape, and now I'm wrapping. We'll see how long it takes, I'm curious. But my point is though, the person who, let's say comes in and says they want a roof wrap, do they have to drop the car off for the whole day? Absolutely not. So for me, if you have good techniques and good flow, you choose the right tools, you're good to go. So notice what I'm doing here. I'm switching squeegees and look how easily that was. I could pick that up. I'm gonna spray it with soap and water. And again, I don't have to bend over too much because I got all my tools close at hand. And what I'm gonna do here now is I'm going to feed the material into the side. And the reason why I switched to, in this case, a banana buffer is the wingtips. Because right now I want to kind of feed it into this groove right now. And by having wing tips right now, I can push it into the corner with my squeegee and I don't scratch the film. So I keep the film nice and pristine. And that's what I love about the monkey strips is it gives you lots of options. So I feed it into here and by picking it up and feeding it in, I didn't overstretch it. Cool. That means it won't lift over time. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. But in this case, I use this side when I did the passenger side. So I'm going to flip it because the other side is nice and wet. So I come over here, pick the material up, and again, look how easily it picks up because I have that masking tape. And that masking tape for me is the unsung hero of good quality and speed when you're wrapping. Because you never want the material to be tense, and the material is almost just like a person. If a person is tense, it doesn't really kind of perform well over time. If you leave a lot of tension on the car, same thing. So your goal as an installer is actually kind of to relax the material at all times. You get that nice flow. And here I'm double checking that the edge is good. Cool. Awesome. So I'm done with the squeegee. So what do I do? Just place it right there. Now I'm going to release the knifeless tape and I'll come right to you. And what this is, is a great product where this cuts the material without having me to having to use my knife, which is really, really nice. So I cut the excess material there, pull the string and Pull the material to the side. I'm going to take the masking tape away. And I always like to have a good clean workspace. So I fold it, put it right on the car, run my finger right on this edge. And here I'm actually going to cut right on the side of the window. So by cutting on the side of the window, that gets just enough material to fold down the side. I run my finger just to get that set. And now I'm going to come to the other side and release the knifeless tape here. So notice what I do with the knifeless tape a lot of the times, I do never use knifeless tape that much or haven't have a hard time with it notice that I pre-release it before I start and if I pre-release it before I start the chance of it pulling really good is high if I don't do it before I start and it breaks mm, kind of stressful okay so again by having good prep and good flow and thinking ahead of where the problems might come from you can solve them ahead of time which is really cool so here I got my blade again cutting them right alongside the window right there Come right to the edge here, pull the excess film away, run my finger around it, and I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna cut the top section here. And here I'm gonna cut on the side of the hatchback. In this case, I don't have to wrap too deep because the color of the car is dark. Awesome stuff. So once I cut there, pull the excess film away. Right to, hmm. There, I run my finger to round the edge, and then I come down here and, for the masking tape. So again, good clean workspace. And now I want to finish strong. Very important in what I call seal the deal. So notice I grab the heat gun because I got the mag strap there. Now I go back to my monkey strip. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lead with the heat all the way to the front. I hit the corner with a little heat, tuck it in nice and clean. And here I'm going to squeegee to myself. Bam. Come back over here. Run my finger, give the corner a kiss of heat, give the corner a kiss of heat, seal the deal, and then I'll finish strong right here. So I pull the heat gun around, 
I run my squeegee right to there. Cool, give it a kiss of heat. Damn, right there. So again, seal the deal. Did what I call a 360 with a dry. And the reason why I use the monkey strip is the monkey strip is dry. So on the edge right there, if I come in with a dry buffer, okay, that means moisture doesn't get behind the edge, which is always a good tip. And that's why I also added heat. The heat kind of softened the film, activated the adhesive so it went in nice and clean and holds for the long term. So here I'm just cutting the antenna out, nice, clean, and fresh. And then the final stage right now, now we're into the prep phase, is I'm going to come right behind Marcos, who's filming. Marcos is doing a great job. I'm going to come here and grab my microfiber towel, and I'm just going to spray it really quick just to remove any soapy residue from the banana buffer. Come back over here, double check it. Come back over here, almost done. And imagine the client came in on their lunch break and said, I wanted a purple cool roof. Well, have I been able to do it during their lunch break? Absolutely. So this means really good money for you if you have the right tools, right buffers, right magnets, and we're good to go. And I'm gonna hit the clock right now. Bam, nine minutes and 23 seconds. So again, good clean workspace. Everything's flowing and going because again, good prep, great install, great tools. And good finishing and now we've got a happy client who's going back to work with a cool roof and that's the name of the game and that's the power of wraps so i hope you enjoyed this never stop learning contest hope you won that prize and we'll see you next week cheers